Hey guys, Zach Hicks here. Well, it's the fall of 2021, and after a few long years of applying, I finally drew an archery elk tag in Montana. Dad and Grandpa and I are headed out there to meet up with the guys at Broken Arrow Outfitters, and we are excited. Heading to Montana. Here we go. evening out we set up on one of the highest points on the property in glass we see a couple good bulls and we get a good game plan for the hunt in the morning Well, as you can see, my guide Zane heard a bull call back to him down at the bottom of this hill. We turn around, grab our gear, and head down the hill to cut him off.
kept going. I drew. And there's that one. One. No. It wasn't. No. That one little tree right there. And there. That tree and then that little pine. I had my pen right behind his shoulder. But the arrow would have went right through that tree. So then I started to lean up. I still had my pen right there. And the second that I was about ready to pull it off, I turned and went straight away from it. And then went back up in there and all the way around and got over to there. And he was at 59. And then he, he dropped back down and he got to that point. And then he was going back and then he Well, as you could tell, that was an amazing encounter. I couldn't believe it. First morning of the hunt, and I had that bull within 20 yards. I mean, that is what I have been dreaming about for the last few years. That encounter. And if it wasn't for that little tree, I would have been tagged out, hopefully. Um, but there's still plenty of, uh, plenty of time left in the week. And uh, man, am I excited for what the rest of the week is going to bring. Over the next few days, we hunt hard. A lot of calling, walking, and glassing. And we finally start to get these bulls figured out. Well, it is the afternoon of Wednesday, September 29th. We have been hunting hard for these elk here in Montana. Uh, I got on bulls this morning. They were out on this big wheat field. And uh, they came out here last night as well. Uh, so we're heading back, hoping to intercept them uh, this evening before they get out in the wheat. We're walking across this uh, big uh, sagebrush area and uh, trying to find a few sheds on the way in. Last night we found, uh, found three <laughs> mule deer sheds on the way in so hopefully uh we'll find some horns here before we uh put an arrow in a big bull elk so we'll see oh what do we got here <laughs> Good start. See if we can pick up some more. And shed number two for the walk in. Little muley shed. All right. All right, guys. It is the afternoon of Wednesday, September 29th. Um, we are hunting here in Montana after elk. Um, this is a dream hunt of mine, and uh, I'm hoping that tonight's the night. Um, first day I had a bull at 20 yards and just couldn't quite get the deal done. Um, but these bulls have been coming out in the wheat field uh, to feed during the night, so um, we're hoping that this evening they do the same thing. Um, my guide Zane is back behind me, and uh, once these bulls make their way out into the field, he's going to start calling and uh, hopefully bring one within bow range. So that's the plan. We'll see if it works.
Well, unfortunately, these bulls never came close enough this evening. But what these bulls have been doing has been coming out to this big wheat field in the evening, staying out and feeding all night, and then after the sun rises in the morning, going back and bedding. So we make a plan to cut them off in the morning before they head back to their bed. Thursday morning. Just heard a ball bugle. Put those balls back out in the big wheat field. And uh, we're uh, trying to call them back in on this big ranch thing. Well, as you just saw, that bull was over a little rise from me, um, and there was a fence about halfway between him and I. I settled my pen at 40 yards right behind his shoulder and didn't give a second thought to that fence. Unfortunately, the way that that arrow arced, it dead centered the bottom high tensile wire, and my expandable broadhead completely opened up, the arrow did a flip and it was laying on top of the sage. The arrow didn't even make it to the bull. Um, I was absolutely heartbroken. I worked so hard for this bull, practiced so many hours, hiked so many miles this week, all to be struck down by a little bitty high tensile wire. The broadhead hit that bottom high tensile wire and opened up the expandable head and knocked that arrow straight into the ground. No blood on the arrow. Clean miss. <clears throat> I guess it clean miss is better than wounded, but I'm sick right now. for these bulls finally get a shot off and that happens. Well unfortunately 
that was my last shot opportunity of the week. And even though I left camp with tags unfilled, I also left with a lifetime of memories. Not only in the woods, but with my dad and my grandpa back at camp. I'm so grateful and thankful for this opportunity to spend time in the hills of Montana. And I cannot wait until I get a chance to go back to see Zane and the guys at Broken Arrow Outfitters in Montana. I appreciate you guys watching, and I hope you all have a safe and successful season.